Hello, this is Fuji Japan Travel. Today, I will introduce the 5 best Tokyo Japanese food hidden lunch spots. Number 1, Lakan Ka. In a word, this place is a restaurant where you can enjoy Kyoto's health conscious cuisine in Tokyo. They serve lunch from 11 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. and dinner until 10 p.m. It's a bit of a walk, over 10 minutes, from Omit Sando Station. I visited after 4 p.m. on a weekday, and there were only two other groups ahead of me, so it was mostly empty. Before the food arrives, they serve a damp towel in the restaurant's original, Lacan tea, which is pleasantly sweet. For this visit, I ordered their signature menu item, the Oben Zai. Oben Zai refers to the type of side dishes commonly eaten by Kyoto residents. The price was 1,500 yen, which might feel slightly expensive for a Tokyo lunch if it's over 1,000 yen, but the ability to order larger portions of rice and even get seconds is a treat. The set includes Lakan tea, four assorted Obenzai dishes, a Japanese rolled omelette, rice, miso soup, and pickles. The dishes arrived promptly, and there was quite a lot. The Obenzai I had came with five types of side dishes in total, and you can choose your preferred dish from four options. This time, I chose a dish with chicken tenders and spinach. The rice is a mix of five grains, and there are plenty of other nutritious options on the menu. The restaurant has two floors, with the second floor offering about six table seats and counter seats by the window. Number 2, Nanadai Mi Tora at Amidasanda. Located just a five-minute walk from Amidasanda Station, the concept of this restaurant is straightforward. It's a hidden gem offering great value in Japanese cuisine. As you head down the stairs leading to the basement, it feels as if you're entering a secret hideout. Despite the hustle and bustle of crowded Amidasanda, I guess there are still many who aren't aware of this place. The interior has a dimly lit ambiance, with the counter as the main seating area. It seems those who've made reservations or solo diners are given priority at the counter. On this visit, I arrived precisely at the opening time of 11.30 am and was the first guest. However, the place filled up quickly just before noon, and by after 12 o'clock, all the table seats were occupied. Today, I ordered the seafood chirashi bowl for 1,400 yen. The set included miso soup, pickles, and a simmered hijiki dish, making for a nutritious yet modest lineup of Japanese dishes. The price might be on the higher side, but considering other set meals start from 1,100 yen, it offers good value for money. Considering the calm interior and the prime location in Amidasanda, paying for the ambiance is well worth it and feels like a great deal. Number 3, Fute Shoku Ya. Let's step inside. This place is located about a 5 minute walk from JR Ebisu Station. In a nutshell, the unique feature of this restaurant is that you can select your own side dishes, allowing you to create your very own personalized set meal. Their operating hours on weekdays are from 7.30 a.m. to 3 p.m., so it seems there are regulars who come for breakfast. Dinner is from 5.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. On holidays, they are open throughout the day. Their day off is Wednesday. At this store, you can select what you want to eat by yourself. The staff kindly explained how to order, making it recommendable even for solo diners. It's great being able to choose your favorites. While the main set menu seems to change according to the season, during my visit at the end of August, options like fried chicken were available. In total, I could choose from four or five types of dishes. The raw horse mackerel fry set had me wondering how it differed from the regular mackerel fry set. To my surprise, the meat was plumper than the usual fry. You can choose between white rice and brown rice. For the soup, you have a choice between miso soup and mushroom soup. The thick omelette, being one of the signature dishes at this Tishoku restaurant, was a must order. On this visit, I ordered the raw horse mackerel fry set meal for 600 yen, a thick omelette for 180 yen, and an okra dish. Its sweet seasoning evoked a nostalgic feeling, reminiscent of traditional Japanese home-cooked meals. At this restaurant, they are particular about freshly prepared dishes. Every morning at 7.30, they cook rice in a clay pot, light the charcoal, and prepare the stock. 
Additionally, the main side dishes are prepared upon order, ensuring you get to enjoy them freshly made. The payment is done at a self-checkout register. Next, I made my way to Shibuya Station. Number 4. Maru Bangara. This place offers good value for Japanese cuisine. It's about a 5-minute walk from Shibuya Station, located on the third floor of a commercial complex called Shibuya Stream. After ascending the escalator and walking a short distance, you'll find it. I visited a little after 2 p.m. on a weekday. Since the Google headquarters is located above, there were quite a few people who seemed like employees there after peak hours. Maru Bangara's concept is a casual Japanese dish, where you can enjoy seasonal Kyoto cuisine and rice. At first glance, it seems like a rather small shop. However, once inside, you're greeted by a spacious feel due to the large windows that offer a view of the streets of Shibuya. In total, there are 60 seats, making it quite spacious. This time, I ordered the salmon set meal for 1,200 yen. The salmon looked generously sized just from appearance. Isn't it quite a good deal for 1,200 yen? Other char-grilled fish options included mackerel and Spanish mackerel. They also had fried chicken set meals or seafood bowls. The rice, I heard, is freshly cooked in a clay oven, resulting in a glossy and fluffy texture. Miso soup and broth, along with rice, were served first, followed by the main salmon dish. Accompanying it was a piece of Japanese rolled omelette, grated daikon radish, and a side dish that changes daily. The salmon, marinated in salted rice malt, was tender and flaked off easily. The rice comes with free refills, ensuring satisfaction even for hearty eaters. There's also an option to add roe, though it comes at an additional cost. This will be the last store I introduce today. Number 5, UI Roo. Let's dive in right away. This restaurant is a place where you can freely choose your side dishes and soup for a set meal. You can select from seasonally prepared dishes, hearty miso soup, and a variety of homemade pickles. The staff will briefly explain the ordering process to you. Tea is self-service, and you can choose your preferred teacup and chopstick holder. This establishment emphasizes Japanese cuisine that heavily utilizes fermented foods. The daily set meals come in three variations. One a main dish with sashimi and dessert, two a main dish, and no main dish but with extra soup. Upon being seated, you place your belongings down and then head to the counter to place your order and pay. After conveying your chosen main dish to the cooking staff, it was promptly served to me. The main dishes change daily, and this time I choose the cod. Also, you can choose from three rice portion sizes. The brown rice was very chewy. Typically, brown rice has a substantial bite to it, but this was incredibly chewy, almost like mochi. Furthermore, if you arrive early, it seems you can choose from an even wider variety of pickles. The cod was marinated in miso, giving it a rich miso flavor that complements the rice perfectly. The miso soup was loaded with ingredients like carrots, radish, spinach, chicken, and shimeji mushrooms, among others. Alright, so that's my top 5 Japanese hidden lunch spots in Tokyo. If you like this video, help me out and subscribe to our channel more. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.